What up, though? And welcome back to my new YouTube channel, Old School Hip Hop Head Real Reacts. Now, I do have another YouTube channel that I've had for a while now called Reels Reactions. And on that YouTube channel, it's 99.9% .9 old school golden era hip hop. And I just thought of this, and maybe because I'm high, but I'm going to go ahead and post this video on both channels. I was supposed to do this one on uh, Reels Reactions a long time ago. I just never got around to it. Um, but the reason I'm doing it on Old School Hip Hop Head channel is because, as y'all know, I dropped that Yaya reaction last week. And that nigga Royce's verse was dog shit. I said it was dog shit. And niggas going crazy in the comments. You stands is hilarious. You know, one thing I can't say about you stands is you some loyal motherfuckers. Like, y'all even support Marshall's, like, side niggas. That's pretty fucking dope, yo. Salute to you stands out there for hold down side niggas. Um, so, niggas, went mad, niggas got mad at me because I said Royce was shitty on that song. And um, this is really the only Royce song I know. So, you know, I like to balance some shit out. So, so you know, I shitted on Royce for that Yaya verse. But now I'm going to salute uh, the boy right now with, with Boom. You know, this is his best song ever. And maybe I'm biased because it's DJ Premier, who's the greatest producer DJ of all time. You know what I mean? The greatest producer of all time. I don't even want niggas to try to... I don't want it to sound like I'm skewing that shit. He is the greatest producer of any fucking genre of music. So anyway, um, so let's get into this shit, yo. We're going to start with the guy, Primo, talking about this shit. And then uh, we're going to hear a little bit from Royce himself about this song. And then I'm going you know, to re react to the song, too. I just don't know how I'm going to chop it up. Um, you know what I mean? So, all right, yo. I right, stands. All right. I hope you motherfuckers is happy. Hold on. Hold on. We look crooked. We look crooked. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I hope you motherfuckers is happy now. Uh, this is going to be a positive uh, Marshall side nigga review. All right? Reaction, I should say. Not review. Reaction. All right, man. Let's get to it. All right. This has been another big request, but I had to find the disc. Boom. Yes, indeed. Now, so this song originally was for a Capone and Noriega session. CNN, for all mm -hmm. those that know him in the street. We were waiting for them to get there to do a song with me and Royce and I were gonna work on the song as well. But Royce got there before CNN. That particular track happened to be playing in the background and Royce was like, what is that? I said, I'm working on CNN. He's like, uh, well, where are they? And then another room was like, no, they're not here yet. Royce convinced me to have him use this track and make another one for CNN. And when I thought about it, I was like, well, one way or another, they're both gonna get bangers because that's how I do. I make everything tailored to the <laughs> artist. I said, you know what? All right, you can mess with this one because he said he was ready to write and bring it out. <laughs> Let me back up a little bit. The first time I ever heard of Royce was with Eminem on a record called Scary Movies. They were Never heard of it. Evil. When Scary Movie came out, I was doing mix show radio at the time and also doing a lot of Hot 97 work, filling in for Stretch and Bobbito. The legends Stretch and Bobbito got a stamp legend on there. Salute, first salute, call, Stretch and Bob. Midori. Now, with the transition of Royce getting ready to go to Sony, we decided to do a single for the streets. He said, I'm gonna do a record where I feel like I'm a, I'm a bomb. He said, is there any way you could put like a tick in it? And I was like, yeah. And it's crazy because it's one of the biggest records in my whole career, even when I'm on the road, when I tour, or when I just perform anywhere. When you hear that tick, 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 and that beat drop, the crowd lose their mind and it's one of the most favorite records that DJs like to cut up because of the ticking, you can do so many routines to it before the beat drops. So it's considered a classic, even though it's not going to platinum, but in the mm. books, it's considered a classic. And I appreciate that. Appreciate Royce. That's right, the, baby. Royce's pens Cultural already melted classic. before he even starts to write. But the way he even explained how ill he is in the mind of a, a bomb, you could visualize every lyric, the whole way he put it together. 
So when he came over and, and uh, we sat down to put it together, the first thing that came to my mind was Shot to the Lady of Rage, one of the most incredible female lyricists of Death Row Records and of hip hop culture, period. Right when he started talking about a bomb, I already heard Afro Puffs with the line when she said, Boom. I was like, I hope when I scratch that it fits. Boy, did it fit. And I kept hearing Guru from, you know, my steeds when he goes, The mic's either a magic solo or a magic job. like the havoc of a nuclear bomb. Again, DJs, we hear things because of our battle skill mindset when we pull lines that we want to cut. And that's what came to my head without anybody giving me ideas because I'm good either way. You can give me a scratch idea or I'll come up with it myself. These I came up with myself. All right, so can't give a shit. That down you know, after his vocals were put into place, and I was like, "Yo, man, we are ready to launch this thing." And I remember Jay Z had a tour, the Hard Knock Life tour. It was Red Man and Method Man that opened up for him. DMX was on that tour. Jay Z was a headliner. Incredible tour. And I remember we're backstage and we're getting ready to go to our cars to leave. And Red Man and Method Man are sitting in a car listening to Boom. And I'm like, "Oh wow, they bump it." And it was brand new and they were bumping it and for them who are lyricists extraordinaires and also fans of Royce and vice versa to hear them blast and boom I remember it was on the cassette with the artwork and everything and next thing you know it was just in everybody <coughs> in the tape deck boom box car walkman boom was that was that deal I'm the verbal spit Smith Wesson I unload with six spit the quick wick the split a split second a bomb with a lit wick expression. You hear a tick tick, then you testing. My saliva and spit could split thread in the fiber and bits. So trust me, I'm as live as it gets. Everybody claim they the best and they head the throne since big is gone. If you ask me, they dead wrong. My flow was hotter than the flash from the click. When the hammer slaps the bullet on the ass from the clip. You wind up in the room full of my dogs. I had you feeling like a fire hydrant in a room full of dogs. So come, come now. Get pissed on. Shit it on. Tough talk turns to can't we all just get along. You get blazed when the mic's off. Shot when it's on. You probably duck when they laid the gunshot in your song. My gun stutters when it speaks to you. Other shit to repeat to you. Nothing to clip to give a speech to you. Me and Premier, we kind of the same in ways. We both speak with our hands in dangerous ways. Rap now is a circus of clowns. A whole lot of lip from clicks. I probably wrap circles around. I'm the next best to reach a peak formerly known as the best kept secret. I guess that I just leaked it. This is like 1999. Fire. Well, no, 1999, maybe 2000. I was not too far removed from the open mic. So everything that I was writing was very aggressive and it was aimed at other MCs in a battle rap form of writing. We like to say when we rapping, we spitting. I threw my saliva in there because you know that's basically just another word for spit. My saliva and spit could split thread into fiber and bits, you know, and that just means that it's so sharp, you know, it can it can split something as fine as thread into basically nothing. You mm. probably duck when they laid the gunshot in your song. Around that time, it was like really, <laughs> really popular to have gunshots and explosions in the songs. I just imagine a lot of these rappers, when they inside of the booth, they the hardest guys in the world. But when the producer lays the gunshot without telling them, they duck. All right, so now that we've heard from the participants of this motherfucking classic, let's get to it. First of all, salute to motherfucking DJ Premier for some of the hardest shit ever, son. DJ Premier is the fucking GOAT, yo. Hands down. Let's go. Yo. I'm the verbal spit Smith Wesson. I unload with six spit. The quick wick, the split a split second. A bomb with a lit wick expression. You hear a tick tick, then you test it. My saliva and spit, the split thread in the 
fiber and bits, so trust me, I'm as live as it gets. Ooh. Everybody claimed the best, and they had the throne since Big is gone. If you ask me, they dead wrong. My flow is hotter than the flash from the clip. When the hammer slaps the bullet on the ass from the clip. Hard. In the room full of hard, son. That is hard right there. That bar is ridiculous. Flash from the clip. Big is gone. If you ask me, they dead wrong. My flow is hotter than the flash from the clip. When the hammer slaps the bullet on the ass from the clip. Ah. In the room full of my dogs, I have you feeling like a fire hydrant in a room full of dogs. So come, come now. Get pissed on, shit it on. Tough talk turns, but can't we all just get along? Ah. The mic's off, shot when it's on. Oh when my god, tough talk just turns, it. can't we all just get along, my nigga? In a room full of dogs, so come, come now. Get pissed on, shit it on. Tough talk turns, but can't we all just get along? You get blazed when the mic's off, shot when it's on. You probably Woo! duck when they laid the gunshot in your song. My gun still stutters when it speaks to you. Other shit to repeat to you. Nothing to clip to give a speech to you. Mm. Tough talk turns, but can't we all just get along? You get blazed when the mic's off, shot when it's on. You probably duck when they laid the gunshot in your song. My gun still stutters when it speaks to you. Other shit to repeat to you. Nothing to clip to give a speech to you. Me and Premier, we kind of the same in ways. We both speak with our hands in dangerous ways. Ah, it's a circus of clowns, a whole lot of lip from clicks. I probably, probably wrap circles, circles around. Oh, the next best to reach a peak, formerly known as the best kept secret. I guess that I just leaked it. Ah. Somebody better. What the fuck is this? Hold on, son. This ain't the right shit. All right, man. I got caught up in the Matrix and zone the fuck out. That was the wrong version, yo. That I mean, I don't know what the hell that was. That was that was Royce's official page, though. So I'm confused. But anyway, man. Back to it. I'm just gonna run that shit from the top, yo. Let's get it. Yes. That's right here, nigga. There was no going back for Roy show. Like, he had reached his motherfucking zenith. Like, he was never going to outdo this, right? In my opinion. But then again, yo, I don't know Royce's catalog. So you fucking stands going to have to put a nigga on. Like, it shows, send me something where Royce is, scat, is spitting hotter shit than this, son. It's impossible. This is like Jada Kiss level bars. Like, this shit right here is epic. Like, this is a top 10 hip-hop song, son. From the production to the bars, I mean, this thing, this is stupid. 
It's after your show. But we could go toe to toe, cause they calling you hot. Stepping around all your punches like sorry. Uh. Every day I'm meeting somebody and all of they peeps. Quick to shake a nigga's hand and show me all of they teeth. Come on, son. Punches, I be patting their asses. They be all dumb and googly eyes looking at me, batting their lashes. Rappers think Detroit niggas not as down as them. A sense that I'm down with Slim, that I sound like him. Quick to judge me and tell me that my hook might sell. And say faggot shit to me like I look like him. My advice, quick talking, it's over. I was knocking niggas out when you was knocking sticks off of their shoulders. I got dirt done in my past. I know y'all sweat. I got regrets older than some of you. So called vets. Come on, son. My advice, quit talking, it's over. I was knocking niggas out when you was knocking sticks off of their shoulders. I got dirt done in my past. I know y'all sweat. I got regrets older than some of you so called <laughs> niggas say I found God with the flow. Bring the police to the studio. Bring the squad to the show. Oh, Ain't a nigga oh my god. Ooh. Oh man. That nigga just hit me with something right there. Woo, that shit touched my soul, son. That nigga say, nigga say I found God with the flow. Oh my God, son. What? My past, I know y'all sweat. I got regrets older than some of you so-called vets. Nigga say I found God with the flow. Bring the police to the studio and bring uh. the so-called vets. Nigga say I found God with the flow. Uh. Bring the police to the studio and bring the bomb so-called vets. Nigga say I found God with the flow. Bring the police to the studio. And bring the bomb squad to the show. Ain't a nigga touching minds. When you listen to my shit, you don't chew, you don't breathe, you'll miss a fucking line. Every time I spit, I do <laughs> That nigga say you don't <laughs> chew, you don't breathe, because you might miss a line, nigga. Bring the police to the studio and bring the bomb squad to the show. Ain't a nigga touching minds. When you listen to my shit, you don't chew, you don't breathe, you'll miss a fucking line. Every time I spit, I tick to show you it's hot. Leave me in the deck too long, I'll blow up your box. Oh my god, son. <laughs> Yo, these are God bars. These are God bars right here, son. Wow. Whoa. I forget how dope this shit was, son. I'm just dumbfounded right now, son. This nigga is whew, no, no, no going back. Like, how, how is you ever going? Like, I'll do this. I can't wait to get some requests, yo. Like, this ain't even an Eminem hater right now, yo. Like, I really want to hear where y'all think he outdid this. Like, there was, no, I feel like there was no way he could outdo this, yo. That nigga said, I got regrets older than some of you so called vets. What? Nigga say I found God with the flow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't want to be talking through Preem doing magical shit right now, so I'm gonna back it up a little taste. Preem the best at this right here. He don't need a chorus. He gonna scratch some shit into a chorus, nigga. Ah. It's not another verse. Ooh. Primo. <laughs> That's some arrogant shit, Prime. This nigga got a minute and a, and a half of just a beat rocking. Ah. That's when you know your shit is docking, boy. Ah. Nigga got a four minute song and two minutes of it. Ah. This beat. This is a body. Ah. Genius. This is genius, yo. <laughs> yo, that song is perfect. That song is a is a hundred. It's a it's a hundred side. Like there's no flaws in this song. There's absolutely no flaws. I mean, there was no fucking fat in none of Royce's bars, son. Like, that shit was razor sharp, scalpel sharp, my nigga. Like, you see, he said Reggie, Reggie and uh, and Meth was listening to that shit because them niggas was like, God damn. We ain't gonna ever have no bars like this. That's what Meth said for sure. Reggie was like, I'm gonna try to get close. <laughs> but hey, hey, this shit right here, yo, salute to 
Royce the five fucking nine, my nigga. This shit's amazing. Wow. How, how can the same nigga... <laughs> how can the same nigga who said this, these bars spit that yaya shit, yo? That's embarrassing. He had to have fire bars on there and him took them off or something. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it was like some invasion of the body snatchers shit, yo. That wasn't the real Royce on that yaya shit. But then again, I don't know. I I wasn't a, I don't listen to Slaughterhouse. I fucking hate Joe Button. <laughs> and I I don't know I don't know any of them niggas catalog, dog. You know what I mean? So yo, send me something with Royce outspit this nigga. Send me I mean anybody could could can hit one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all the fucking taglines a broken clock is right twice a day. The sun shines on every dog's ass or some shit like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But <clears throat> this could just be one, yo. It's the only one I heard. <laughs> but anyway, man, this shit is flawless, nigga. Wow. I'm glad I did this. I'm glad you motherfucking stands went crazy on me in the comments and made me uh, revisit this fucking classic moment in hip-hop, son. Uh, as always, salute to the motherfucking guy, DJ Premier. He to go to this production shit. And salute to the boy Royce the 5-9, my nigga from the D. I used to hoop with your brother, nigga. But anyway, I'm out. On to the next one.